everybody, ladies and gents. It's been a while since uh, we did a video for you. Today we'll do a short one. Uh, I'd like you to share my experience with the uh, BMW System 7 carbon helmet, uh, which I bought uh, it's nearly a year ago now. So I've done about 3,000, around just over 3,000 miles with it. Um, I do love it. It's, it's a brilliant helmet. Um, I like the vision, the wide vision on it, uh, the front, uh, and of course it's a flip, flip up an helmet. Uh, inside, and the material is, is quite, it's really nice on your head, quite velvety as well. Very easy to put a comb on, uh, you don't have to use the BMW comb, you know, don't, uh, don't be fooled by that, it's very easy to do, uh, quite discreet, push the wires behind. Um, if anybody not sure about how to put a comb, I can do you a short video how to do, but it's straightforward really. There's two holes for your speakers in there behind the pads. Um, as you can see, I put a microphone here, just nice and neat, and it works fine uh, again. Um, it's not very expensive uh, combs, this one. This one is about £35 from eBay. But I would like to upgrade it, but I'm not allowed to buy anything at the moment. Um, so uh, let's carry on with the, with the is that, helmet. Is that a promise? Yes. No. <laughs> uh, regarding the weight of it, I, mean, I don't think it's the lightest helmet on the market. It's it's quite heavy, but it, it feels quite solid and secure. Uh, noise wise, for me, it's 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 perfect. Um, you know, I don't like it too quiet, but of course, you don't want it too noisy. And I think it's just uh, the perfect balance with the noise, uh, uh, the noise you get with it. Uh, when you're riding, of course, you can still hear music, still, uh, you know, hear the phone. Uh, people can hear me talking. Uh, there's one thing I don't like about this, is this clear visor. It's a bit, bit wobbly. Um, when I'm riding, I do, if it's a warm day, slightly warm, I like to open a bit. You can, I can, but once I've opened it, uh, and it came off here this side so this one could have been a bit um, more solid but apart from that the pin lock on it is superb um, it's really good never steamed up for me uh, the air circulation you got this one here open it up and this one at the top that's closing that's open again in a warm day you can feel the air circulation is really nice um, well padded uh, this chain this this bit comes off you can this is for summer use because it's quite lighter material uh, you get an extra extra one for the winter one but i always use that one uh, I, I find it quite sufficient um yeah it's really good to be honest it's not it's 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 quite expensive helmet but with helmets you know don't save money just buy the best helmets you can afford really because this is, this is really, really important. This is more important, in my opinion, than jackets or trousers or anything. This is your head. Uh, I'm going to try and show you how this whole chin bit comes off. And you can ride it as a half-faced helmet in summer. Uh, it's not straightforward to do, to be honest, but we're going to give it a try. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and show you how to take the uh, chin piece. Uh, so you can have it as a... Um, uh, half face hel helmet, uh, especially for hot days or warm days. Um, first of all, the visor needs to come off. If you can come here, they, they could have done it a bit easier. There's an arrow here. Can you see it? Can you show? It? Can you see an arrow? Yeah, you can see it there. So that uh, so that little bit needs to be in line with the arrow, and then. <clears throat> There you go, there's one off. As long as we line it with the arrow, there's another one here if I can see it, there it is. There, can you see it? Yes, you can see it now. Right? So, lifting out, so that's off the visor. Um, and that's a tricky bit, this one. Now, remember, if you remember how it was before, can you remember, you can see that triangle. Uh, it's important to remember that, that how it is so when we push it back in so you remember how to push it back in uh, so halfway up 
So an axis to this triangle. Now you can do it with your finger, basically, if you come above. And you come from above, like that. Yeah, that's that. Can you see it? Yes. Mm -hmm. You can do it with your finger, but I don't want my finger, I don't break my finger. It's quite hard. So I use this iPad pen. So press it and push it towards out that way. So that side is off. Turn it over. Again, look for that triangle there. Press it and push it and it's off. <laughs> Okay, so what we got here is a nice summer half a salad. It's very, very light. It, it, it is fantastic. Uh, I mean, it's, it'd be perfect for summer and a hot day, I mean, especially in warm countries. Uh, that, that, that's really superb. The only thing to bear in mind, you are losing the protection of your chin. Uh, you still get the sun visor, it goes that way that, down. Uh, this is uh, it's a really good one because the way I read them is uh, I compared them to my sunglasses, the Ray-Ban sunglasses. Uh, when you look at the sun, it gives you protection. Um, we have got a cheaper helmet. It's not nice to, well, it's not fair to compare it, but the sun visor on the cheaper helmets are completely useless. You might as well not bother. Just put your sunglasses on, really. But this one is really, really good. So, uh, yeah. So what we're going to do is, we're going to show you how we're going to put it back together again, which can be a bit tricky. We'll bring that chin back. This is the chin. That, this bit needs to come back like that. And that one back like that. So they're in line. Let's do, see, see how they're in line. It's these two triangles, yeah. one side at a time. Now we need to remember let's see this bit that bit can you see this that bit is supposed to sit in here and that's very important otherwise you'll push into the wrong wrong place if you're in light just put it in line like that that's the but we need to be in line with this here as well so There you, go. there you go, and it's back in place. Okay, now we have to put the visor back on. Okay. Right, so there's two nibs here, they need to be in line in that, but the most important is the arrow again here, that needs to face the arrow. So we go with that, just to put this in there. Put this first of all in the arrow bit. And then press, so that's in one side. It's a faff, I don't like to do it, but you once you've done, done it a few times, you'll, uh, you'll get the hang of it again. Looking for the arrow here, and put that in first, and that's on. Now, size wise, uh, please don't buy well. Do not buy any um, helmet without trying it on. I mean, I went to the dealers and uh, this helmet was on my head for 20 minutes just to make sure there's no pressure anywhere. Um, to start with, I thought I'm size small, but actually the BMW one, I needed the extra small, uh, which fits absolutely perfect. So wide open. Got a ratchet click, which is perfect. I love that. I'd rather have that than the D ring. There we go. And then down. Yeah, clip up. Uh, when it's a heavy traffic, you come into, you know, heavy traffic is quite handy. I mean, very slow riding. Uh, I'm not sure if you're allowed or not, but I lift you up like the policeman. You, you see, policemen do that most of the time. Um, yeah, circulation here. And then I usually ride it sometimes with that slightly open, you know, if, if I feel too hot. Uh, but it's, I can't fault it. It's a perfect helmet. Now, price wise, I think they're about between four and five hundred pounds. Um, it depends on the color. I 
think as well I think, I think this is one of the most expensive colors i went for this color because um before I, before i look any decide to buy any helmet i do like to be it visible meaning no black blue for me it's my opinion no black black blue or dark colors i've got to you know white you can't you can't be, you know there's some well some yellow ones quite visible as long as it's a visible color and for me that was the nicest colors uh, i don't like this bmw in your face but what can you do it's expensive helmet uh, i suggest for that price range go and try a few of them uh, obviously each and one of us got you know a different shape of heads um, the way you feel about it but uh, i'm really happy with it but if I was going to spend four or five hundred pounds on the helmet, I would research quite a few few different makes, particularly the top top range ones. Um, in my opinion, Shui and uh, the Schubert are quite good, uh, especially the, the Schubert, especially if you like the big, you know, the wide uh, visor. Okay, yeah, uh, ladies and gents, hope that helped. Any questions, uh, just put me a comment, send me an email or whatever. Uh, if you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe of course, um, stay safe and don't ride until the nice weather comes. Um, the bike is still in hibernation in the shed. I think it'll be March on the, hopefully if the weather allows anyway. But at the moment, uh, I won't even go out in the car, never mind I'm out on the bike in this weather in the UK. Adios! Okay guys! And ladies, oops, just my finger in front of it. <laughs> try to start uh, again. Hey, can you can you see this square uh, circle? circle. Yeah. Yeah, my finger. Yeah. With your finger. No, you can't see. Okay, where's your ass?